Welcome to Electron Online. In the previous video, we figured out what the angle was of the normal supporting one of the bottom cylinders right here. There's the normal, and then we had an angle theta of, we called it phi here, and we found out what the angle was between the normal supporting the bottom cylinder and the vertical. Now what we're trying to do in this video, we're trying to find the radius of the large cylinder relative to the radius of one of the small cylinders, they're all the same radius, small r, the ratio or the, or the relationship between big R and small r, that's what we're trying to do in this video. So how do we do that? Well, let's redraw some of those triangles we had in the previous video. One of the triangles we had was the one that we got from connecting the centers of the three cylinders, and then if we draw a line straight down this way, and here, this angle here was theta. Let's redraw half this triangle right over here. So let's do that here. So we draw this triangle right here. Notice that this angle here is theta, which was equal to 30 degrees. This side here, from there to there, is equal to twice the radius of each of the cylinders, right? This is one R, this is two R's. So this side here is two times R. And the bottom here, that would be the radius of a cylinder that would be equal to r like that there we go all right so that's this little triangle right here then we had another triangle that we can draw and let me put the center right there that would be this triangle right here this little triangle we'll connect that over here and let's make it a little bit smaller there we go and we realize that this hypotenuse here must be equal to r the radius of one of the small cylinders. This distance right here, did we figure out what that was? Well, we'll get there in just a moment. So we know that this angle here is phi, and so this distance right here had to be equal to the hypotenuse r times the sine of phi. So that the total distance from here to here, this distance, which is the distance from this line straight down, to where, we, where the normal touches the bottom cylinder, that's this distance right here. So this would be r, and this would be r times the sine of theta. That's this distance right here. So these two together, this distance together here, would be r plus r times the sine of, ooh, not theta, but phi, wrong angle, because this is the angle phi here times the angle phi. All right. Remember, in the previous video, we had that the tangent of phi was equal to 1 over 3 times the square root of 3, which ended up being, I have done my calculator, 10.89 degrees. Okay, so now we need to find big R right here. So if we continue this line all the way up, all the way up, all the way up, until we meet this point right there, that's this line right here, like that. And then we come straight down here, we have ourselves another triangle, a big triangle, where the hypotenuse here is equal to the radius of the big cylinder. So now we know that this angle here also must equal phi, because that, these two angles must be the same. Now we have two similar triangles. We have the small little triangle right here, and we have the big triangle right here, and they must be equal to each other, at least not equal, but they must be what we call congruent to one another, same ratios. So now I can say that the big radius to the little radius here, that would be the hypotenuse of the big triangle, relative to the hypotenuse of the small triangle, so we go big R, relative to small r, is equal to, well, let's see here, this distance over this distance, that would be equal to r plus r times the sine of phi divided by r times the sine of phi. All right, so now we can multiply both sides by r so that these two cancel, and then we can factor out an r, so we have r is equal to little r times one plus the sine of phi divided by the sine of phi, and finally when I divide the bottom into the top, I get r is equal to little r times 1 plus 1 over the sine of phi. There we go. So now we have a relationship between the big radius 
of the big cylinder and the small radius of the small cylinder. Now finally, let's plug in some value and figure out what that's equal to. So we take the sine of that angle, take the inverse of that, we get big R equals small r times 1 plus 5.2915 or big R is equal to 6.2915 times the small radius. And now we have the nice relationship between the big radius of the big cylinder and the small radius of the small cylinder in order for the three cylinders to be perfectly in balance so that we can find the angle where the normal touches the bottom cylinder and the vertical angle phi, which we found in the previous video. And that is how that's done.